Today we're going to talk about Kydex fenders. This is like part two of the Kydex fender saga. Let me show you what I've been doing. Yesterday was a downpour. In fact, I rode 40 miles yesterday and it rained a big part of the time and all of my stuff got soaked, which is fine because most of it's waterproof anyway, but it was just dirty, filthy, muddy from riding on the trail. But it reminded me that I need to talk to you guys about the Kydex Fenders Part 2. One of the things I wanted to do after getting this front rack, which was worked out really well for the bag, is put a fender on here to kind of keep the water off the bottom of the bag and mud and dirt, but also protect a little bit of the mud and the water that comes back. And I've had this little fender, which I'll talk more about sometime for a little while, but I put this on here. And this is just Kydex with a slight bend to it. I cut it to fit this area pretty much perfectly and put a little bend on it, kind of keep the water, you know, channeled back that way, mud and dirt. And then just matched up the holes, drilled up so I could put and use these bolt locations that are already in the Surly front rack to make a little fender to go over the top here. And on the back, part two of this, if you remember, I first made this little piece, which was part one of this. If you've not seen that video, I'll post a link to that. And then this is part two. And I'll uh, show you why I had this there in the first place. Part two of this is this part of the fender. So I made a separate piece that goes underneath this one. That's to keep the mud and stuff as it flips up from running back down in here. And that's important. I'll show you why. And this helps protect the bottom of my Arkell tail rider. Now, if you remember me talking about this, this location I had planned to use and make a bag. And this is just a prototype bag we made out of some umbrella material that we already had to fit this location. It's got some sewn in loops so that you can attach it here, the bottom of the saddle. I've got this piece of Velcro in there to kind of attach back here temporarily. And that's gonna be a little different material and zipper for the final uh, piece, but this has worked out pretty well so far. If you've been thinking about a way to use fenders and such with your racks, if you get some Kydex, you can very easily do this. If you've seen any of this, just a heat gun, and you can put these bends that are in here easily. You can shape it. Um, you can drill some holes, just attach it to your rack with some zip ties. That makes it really easy. But what that does is protects your stuff from getting mud and dirt. And if, even if you're not worried about the water, you can always think about you know just the filth and this really protects and helps keep stuff off of them. And with these racks, like this Surly rack, it's big and wide. It's really great to put a piece of fender style material on there without having to buy something. And the Kydex is relatively affordable. Plus you can custom fit it exactly the way you want. So if you wanted it to be a little longer or shaped a little differently, you can certainly make that yourself. All told, I've probably got $30 in all this Kydex. Uh, that's a pretty affordable way to put some fenders on your bike, custom make them, help keep your bags clean from dirt and debris off the trails, but also kind of keep the water and the mud off of you as you're riding. So I get very little splash back and stuff off of this. It's been a pretty good setup so far. And you can custom drill if you want to, to put lights or all those things in there. But if you've been thinking about doing something like this, I really recommend you check out Kydex. It's available on Amazon. There's also some knife manufacturers. There's one particular knife manufacturer out of Atlanta that I purchased the last batch from because it came in longer sheets. 
But you can look around, you can find this stuff, just search on, on uh, Google and you can see all kinds of different options for buying Kydex. But it was really good on this last ride. It proved itself with all that water. Uh, 40 miles of rainy weather was, was quite the test, so it worked out. Anyway, just want to show you guys that. I'm going to keep you updated. I've got uh, another review coming on Bags by Bird. I got a new saddle, the Sella Anatomica H2. I'm going to do a little review on that. And then as we make progress on this, uh, on this bag that we're designing and, and playing around with, I'll keep you updated on that as well. I've ordered some X-Pack material and we're going to find ourselves a waterproof zipper to put in there and then we're going to sew something up. My wife's been putting the machine to work. So anyway, thanks for following along. See you again soon.